Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mini top hat. Very cute and very chic. For this pattern, you will need the following items. You'll need the free PDF pattern that's available on FleeceFun.com. Just go to FleeceFun.com, find the mini top hat pattern, and download it. You'll need to print it up on cardstock, and this is just regular cardstock that you can find at any office supply store that will work in a regular printer. But actually, the pattern is going to become part of the hat, so it's kind of important that you print it up on cardstock. Once you've printed that up, you'll also need the following items. You'll need a quarter of a yard of fleece or felt. Please get the felt that is off the bolt as you'll have one continuous piece which you'll need for the majority of the sizes of the hats. You'll need those, except for the smallest piece, then you could probably use the tiny squares that you can buy, but other than that, you're gonna want fabric off the bolt. You'll also need a glue gun. You'll need feathers, tool, embellishments, ribbon, satin, anything that you wanna decorate your hat with. That's the fun part. You'll also need um, spray-on adhesive for the no-sew option of the hat, which honestly I think is a little easier, so be sure you have that. You'll also need tape for whether it's the no-sew or the sew version of the hat. Um, and of course, thread if you're going to sew the hat. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a sew and a no-sew option for this pattern. I recommend just going with whatever you're more comfortable with. For the sew version, it's kind of nice because there aren't any bulky seams and it looks very nice and neat. But also the no-sew version is pretty easy to do and you can make it look just as good. It's just a preference as to what you're comfortable with. If you do decide to sew, I recommend using the medium or large size, and the no-sew looks better in the small and mini size. All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pattern pieces and you're gonna cut them out using your regular scissors, not your nice sewing scissors. So you're just gonna trace the pattern pieces onto your fleece or your felt. One more thing when you're cutting out your pattern pieces, you're going to cut out one of the brim pieces with a hole in the center, Cut out another one with no hole. Um, you're going to want one with the hole and one without. The one without a hole is going to be nice for placing on later, and the one with the hole is going to be nice for while you're building your hat. So make sure you have each of those pieces. Once you've done that, you're going to cut out your pattern pieces, and you're going to cut your patterns down. You can see how there's a dotted line on that pattern. You're going to cut it down to that size, and I'm going to show you why here in a minute. So you have your pattern pieces and you have your patterns now cut down. If you're doing the no sew option, what you're going to do is you're going to spray adhesive to the back of that cardstock and you're going to place it centered onto your fabric. And it, you're going to have a little bit of a lip, about a half an inch of a lip all the way around. And you're going to need that for later. So make sure that it's kind of centered on there and you have that little bit of a lip. Now I will warn you, if you are going to use spray on glue, do it outside. I sprayed it once inside and it's been a couple weeks and I'm still cleaning it up. So <laughs> take it outside to spray those pattern pieces and then lay them out nicely. Once you've gotten those all placed on, you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to go along the edge of the cardboard there and you're going to just fold down the fabric and glue it to the edge of the cardboard all the way around so you have this nice covered cardboard piece. And you're gonna do that to all your pattern pieces. Okay. All right, once you've taken your pattern pieces and you've um, folded them down so they're all nice and covered, it's time to start and build the hat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the long piece, that is the wall of the hat, you're going to take it and overlap it a little bit and you're going to glue it together. And it can take a little bit of glue to get it to go. You want to be careful that it doesn't seep too much over the edge. And you can use a barrette clip or something to hold it into place while it's staying there and getting glued. Then you're going to add the top of the hat. So glue around, probably the easiest way is on the interior of the wall of the hat at the top. And then place the top of the hat inside that, and then just kind of hold it there so it seals there really well. All right, now it's time to take the brim and add it to the hat. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take the brim piece with the cardstock on it that has the hole in it. And what you're going to do is just run glue around the bottom of the wall on the outside, on the right side of the wall of the hat, and you're going to place it in on that brim. So once you've placed it there and you've got the glue set there, I also recommend taking tape and taping the brim to the wall of the hat all the way around just because it'll make it nice and sturdy. It'll make sure that it stays there really well. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna take the piece of the hat that doesn't have a hole in it, the brim of the hat that doesn't, and you're gonna take that and you're going to glue that to the bottom of the brim, the underside, just so it looks nice and finished and um, well thought out. You'll also need a barrette or comb. All right, once you've done that, you're finished. Now it's time to get to the fun creative part. You can add feathers, tulle, decorations, anything your heart desires. They have all kinds of great feather groupings you can get at um, different hobby stores that really make it. So I recommend just looking around and seeing what can add a little flair or flavor to your hat. Also, old jewelry that's been sitting in your jewelry box for a while, great for using on hats. For more great patterns or tutorials, visit fleecefun.com. You might also like the Red Riding Hood cape, very dramatic. You might also like the Halloween hat pack, perfect hats for your little ones. Have a great day, and remember, velvet is pretentious. Fleece is fun.